an invisible barrier protecting us from the sun. Decades of damage from pollution weakened the ozone layer, but now, thanks to international action, it's finally on the mend. The ozone layer is on track to recover within four decades. In a new report, a UN-backed scientific panel confirmed that the phase-out of nearly 99% of banned ozone-depleting substances has succeeded in safeguarding the ozone layer, leading to a notable recovery of the ozone layer in the upper stratosphere and, and decreased human exposure to harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Ultraviolet radiation can cause skin cancer and harm crops and marine life. The problem came with the development of what's known as CFCs, chemicals used in hundreds of products from refrigerators to hairspray. But when these chemicals enter the atmosphere, they damage the ozone layer. An international treaty banned CFCs in 1987, but progress wasn't always smooth. In 2018, scientists detected a rise in CFC emissions. They were traced to factories in China. Soon after, emission levels resumed their downward trend. The predictions are promising, but other challenges remain. I think that that also could be a role model also for for when, when we tackle climate change. But but it's it's actually the, the problem was, was quite restricted uh, because there were some substitutes available uh, for this uh, CFCs which really destroy this ozone layer. And nowadays uh, we all work with the substitutes. And and for for the problem with with uh, the climate change is that CO2 cannot easily be substituted. The final holes in the ozone layer over the Antarctic are set to be healed by 2066. The rest of the world will be sooner, around 2040. Activists hope this success could prove a model for cooperation as the world faces other challenges like climate change. Fintan Monaghan, Al Jazeera.